Welcome back everybody. If you don't know who I am, my name is Michael Keeney. I own Brooklyn Pasta Lab along with my wife, Alyssa. We ship fresh pasta kits nationwide to your door. And if you want to learn more about us, you can check out our website, brooklynpastalab.com. Hi, Nana. Hi, Mike. I have a question for Nana. Is she there? No, no, I have a question. Do you put garlic in the puttanesca sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make a fry the And then take it out? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, take it out. But the tomato, not like, just a break. Just crush it? All right, I love you, bye. So I just got off the phone with my grandmother. I just wanted to know kind of how she makes her puttanesca sauce. I have an idea of how I want to make it, but I just wanted to ask her. So she likes to take out the garlic, which I recently found out that a lot of Italians don't really like to have garlic in their food. They just like it as like a flavoring. But I'm going to try it both ways and uh, see, see what I like better. I'm probably going to keep the garlic in it, but we'll see what happens. So first things first, I'm going to start with the tomatoes. So I'm going to leave these just crushed. I'm taking it out of the juices that it comes in, and we're just going to make a small batch. All right, so we have this garlic here. I'll probably just use, I'll probably just use one clove. That's probably fine. Open this up. And now we'll start the sauce. So we're just gonna be doing a small batch. So I add a little bit of olive oil. Actually, a good amount of olive oil. So I just let this oil heat up a little bit. Add the garlic, fry it up, and then I'll take it out, just like Nana said. My water on here, coming up to a boil. All right, so now it's got a little bit of color. Now over here, over here we have our gaeta olives. And these I will just take the pit out and we'll throw it into the olive oil, add the tomatoes, let it cook for a couple minutes, and then we'll add some fresh parsley. And I'm just going to take a couple and just take the pit out. And I kind of like them roughly torn. This way there's all different sizes. And sometimes you'll get some smaller pieces, sometimes you'll get some bigger pieces when you're eating it. And I really like the contrast. So I'm just going to let that cook for a little bit until the tomatoes soften up a bit and the olives really flavor the sauce. We'll add a little bit of salt, and then towards the end we'll add some parsley, add the pasta, and toss it all together. And this one you don't really put any cheese on top, so we won't serve it with any. I like to throw in large pieces of parsley just so we really get the flavor. Now I have this spaghetti that we just made, and I'm going to cook it. The sauce definitely cooked down a bit. It's been cooking for about 10, 15 minutes. And now I'm gonna add the spaghetti to the water. And I'm gonna give this a little taste. Oh wow. So the sauce tastes really, really good. I think next time I'm gonna also add capers, but just a touch, I'll chop them up. And I really think it needs the garlic, so sorry, no, no. I'm probably gonna keep the garlic in it, but we'll see what happens. Bit of taste. So this is where we take all the photos for our website. I just use my phone. I'm just gonna give this a taste. It looks amazing. It's not overdressed. There's the right amount of sauce on there. Let's taste it. Wow. So good. Tomatoey, olivey, herby from the from the parsley. Mm. And I love the garlic in there. I know a lot of Italians don't like to put garlic in the actual dish. They just like to flavor it. But I, I like it in there. I love garlic. I love eating it. I love roasted garlic with bread. It's amazing. The only thing I think, I'm just gonna add some chopped capers to it. 
for the future for when we actually serve it to our customers. But uh, but yeah, the photos look, look amazing. But yeah, this is great. I think for the summertime, it's really fresh and light, not too heavy. Hope you enjoyed this video and you'll be able to order this dish straight to your door by checking out our website, brokenpastalab.com. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao.